A freak power surge wreaks, wreaks havoc on a Greensboro neighborhood. Washing machines, stoves, dishwashers, coffee machines, computers, all fried. And now it's costing dozens of homeowners thousands of dollars. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty learned about the bizarre domino effect and why Duke Energy says there's not much you can do about it. A calm, quiet morning rattled by a sudden sound that shook the Lindley Park neighborhood. I knew that was a tree and then I just heard this explosion. In my house I heard two pops. And there was a, a spark that came out of an outlet and it, it felt like to me like a boom. I wanted to run out and scream and say, did it happen to you? This tree on Masonic Drive snapped. Duke Energy said it landed on an electrical circuit, burned down a line, hit another circuit, then sent a high voltage shock to hundreds of homes. All of Lindley Park was out of power, about 350 some odd people. But this wasn't a typical outage. When the power came back on, neighbors quickly learned many of their major appliances were fried. Everybody had something going on. You know, Tim Brown down the street lost his washing machine, Charlotte across the street lost her washing machine and dishwasher and uh, Dorch lost his refrigerator and, and Beth, you, <laughs> you had the most. Beth Beaster lost an AC unit, washing machine, stove, computer, and the oxygen pump to her fish tank. But if we add it all up at the end, probably close to 15,000. Many surge protectors didn't stand a chance. One even caught fire. This house would have burned down, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Street after street, we met people feeling the sting of thousands of dollars in damages. Now they're looking for answers. Duke Energy reps say they're not at fault and denied the claims filed by homeowners. If their equipment was damaged and it damaged our equipment, why would they not be responsible for it? Duke says the tree that fell wasn't its responsibility and the surge wasn't from company negligence. In other words, out of Duke's control. Not a good enough answer for these neighbors. This didn't affect two or three of us. It didn't affect a street. It affected, you know, 356 families. The tree that fell was at the Lindley Community Recreation Center. The city owns the center. I've been trying to figure out whether the city could somehow be responsible for damages. I'll let you know when I find out.